Welcome to the on-demand instruction presentation of High School Writing Expectations. Here we will cover the importance of writing well, different styles of writing, different types of essays, the structure of an essay, and some expectations of an essay writer. As you move through the grade levels of school, things change. Some of the big things to change are writing expectations. In high school, writing assignments become more specific, longer, and require more of students. To perform well in school, stay on top of the expectations for each assignment. The information contained in this pre presentation will help you to do that. Let's take a look at the different kinds of assignments that you would expect to see in middle school and in high school. In middle school, students will typically see creative assignments like short stories and poetry. Students will also be expected to write short answers, typically in the one to two paragraph range. And middle school students can expect to see essays of three different types. Those are usually persuasive essays, expository essays, and narrative essays. In high school, we tend to see a greater variety of types of assignments. In creative assignments, students will write poetry and short stories, as well as plays and multimedia pieces, like PowerPoint presentations and brochures. High school students will also write short answers that can be up to a three paragraph range. There are nine different types of essays that are typically expected of high school students. Research papers can range from five to twenty pages in length. And hypotheses papers are typical in science classes. Proposals can be seen in English and business classes alike. As you can see here, more is expected of the high school student in writing. Let's take a look at the different types of writing. Short answers are typically in the one to three paragraph range. We'll see those as expectations in class, in exams, and on standardized tests. On essays, we might see a wide variety of essays. Expository essays, persuasive, comparison and contrast, cause effect, procedural or how-to, narrative, literary analysis, definition, and description essays are all very standard for high school students. Research papers are typically a requirement of all high school students' ninth through twelfth grades. Creative pieces are also expected, and literary nonfiction is something that may be new for some high school students, such as memoirs, biographies, and autobiographies. So what is at stake? When you're in high school, you don't always get a second chance to redo an assignment like you do in middle school. Assignments can come up more quickly, so you have to work faster to keep up. Because there are more students in the classroom, there's less time for instruction and tutoring. You need to apply what you've learned previously. An example of that would be, if you learned in middle school how to write paragraphs, you'll need to apply that information without new instruction in high school. Why should you write well? In writing, you typically get one chance to communicate exactly what you intend. Once an article is published, a blog is posted, or a book is in circulation, there's no way to take it back. Communicate your information correctly the first time. Let's take a look at an essay. The reason is because the essay is the piece of writing that is most often seen and expected of high school students. An essay is a written account where the writer defends his or her thesis statement using logic, reason, example, evidence, 
and other things. An essay has a minimum of five paragraphs. Essays are structured with introduction, body, and conclusion paragraphs. Most essays will fall under the general category of expository, which means explaining. Some of these include general expository or explaining essays, comparison contrast, how-to or procedural, research papers, literary analysis, cause and effect, definition, and description. Other types of essays that you could expect to see would be persuasive and narrative. There are three different types of paragraphs that you will use as you're working through your essays. An essay will always start with an introduction paragraph. Some of the sentences that you would expect to include in the introduction paragraph would be a hook statement, a thesis statement, a range of three to seven main support statements, and a conclusion statement. There will always be multiple body paragraphs in an essay, and the number of body paragraphs just depends upon how much information that you have and how long the expectation of the essay is. Body paragraph will include these kinds of sentences. An introduction statement that supports the thesis, three to five support statements, two to three detail statements, and a conclusion statement. Every essay ends with a conclusion paragraph. This will include a restatement of the thesis, reflection of the main supporting points, and always finish with a strong conclusion statement that encourages your reader to agree with your thesis. These are the three different kinds of paragraphs that you'll expect to be writing in your essays. Let's take a look at the thesis statement, which is an extremely important part of the essay. It's sometimes called the arguable opinion statement. Your thesis statement is the most important element of the entire essay. If the thesis statement is missing, there is no essay. If the thesis statement is weak, the essay is weak. Therefore, always use a strong thesis statement. How should an essay look and read? The following slides will give you some information to further teach you about essays. Take a look over this information and come back to it as often as you need to. Focus and content. An essay should be focused on proving that a strong, clear thesis statement is correct. Essays should always stay on topic and should be appropriate at all times. An essay should answer the writing prompt and follow all directions of the assignment. As well, an essay should demonstrate depth, breadth, and thorough understanding of the topic. Organization is very important in an essay. A writer should always use introduction, body, and conclusion paragraphs. Each paragraph should be traditionally organized with introduction, support and detail, and conclusion statements. Advanced writers should contact their instructors about attempting other organizational patterns than the ones that are taught here. Where will you use this information? You'll actually use it everywhere. In every class that you have, you'll do writing assignments that will allow you to practice and perfect your writing skills. Today, health class, science class, math class, social studies class, and of course English, all will require some kind of writing of you. Let's take a look at style, which is another expectation of an essay writer. With style, in your essays use a formal, academic, non-emotional writing style unless you're told to do otherwise. 
Typically, you want to use third person, which makes for a very strong style in your essays. Leave off phrases like, I think, I feel, and I believe, as they tend to weaken the essay. Write out your contractions. Make sure that you're always writing on grade level or above. Use high school level content specific vocabulary in all of your writing. Be sure to use transition words and phrases as they can help the style to flow. Leave out abbreviations, symbols, cliches, and slang. And be sure to write numbers under 10 as words. Sentence fluency. Sentence fluency is going to take two different things, sentence length and sentence types. With sentence length, you want to vary your sentences between short, medium, and long sentences. People typically don't talk or write with all short sentences, all medium sentences, or all long sentences. So what you want to do is you want to mix them up so that you have a really nice, natural flow to your writing. As well, use a variety of different sentence types. Simple, compound, complex, and compound complex to be able to achieve this. In conventions, there should be no errors in your writing. You should correct all of these before submitting any piece of work. Make sure that you're always using standard American English to get the most points. In formatting, this is the most traditional formatting here. Your font is typically Times New Roman, size 12, black or blue. Your margins are one inch top and bottom, one and a quarter on left and right. Your spacing is double spacing for essays and research papers. Five paragraphs are typically the expected minimum expectation for an essay. And always be sure to include a heading on your paper. Name, date, and assignment are just three things that you should include. What not to do. Don't reinvent the format. Stick with the traditional format. It works. Don't try to be cool, cute, or silly. It oftentimes backfires. Don't use an essay as an advertisement format. Don't ignore your reader's potential ideas, thoughts, and considerations. Don't try to have a direct conversation with your reader. Don't skip or ignore what you don't understand. Ask if you need help. Don't fail to answer the writing prompt completely. Don't skip the writing process steps. And don't beat up, beat up your audience by yelling, preaching, or abusing others' ideas. Also, don't assume that Microsoft Word will correct your errors. You have to do that. Try to do these things as often as you can. Trust yourself. You're smarter than you think you are. Trust the process. It may seem boring, but it works. Listen to the advice and feedback of peers and teachers. They don't have to agree with everything, but people do have good ideas. Be ready to try, fail, and try again. No one writes perfectly the per first time. Working towards a goal sometimes means work. What you should understand. The importance of writing, well, different writing styles, different types of essays, structure of an essay, and the expectation of an essay writer. You can do it. Writing essays well is a basic expectation of every high school student. Jump in and give it a try. Return to www.ondemandinstruction.com for more instructional videos, podcasts, and materials. We update the site weekly.